Hi guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show how to boost your FPS in the new Nino Kuni uh, Cross World, the mobile game. Uh, I'm going to do this video on Bluestack because it's easier to record, but uh, I also play this game on my Galaxy S21. So the first part will be the best settings for the games. Uh, so it will cover the game. So if you're playing mobile or Bluestack, it's still the same. And at the end of the video, I'm going to cover the uh, Bluestack uh, section. So let's start with uh, the setting inside of the game. So we're going to click setting here. We're going to go to uh, graphics. So the first thing that you need to do is go to custom and make sure that you're using the advanced setting as you can see over here. And you will have a lot of different uh, setting as you can see. It's pretty cool. It's like a PC game. So uh, yeah, let's start with texture quality. This one, honestly, if you have like a, a Samsung S10 or something more recent, you can definitely go very high. If you're playing with the S9, S8, go with I and if you have something older than that I recommend to go with normal normal or low you can compare those like release date with the type of phone that you're using if you're using another brand uh, so this is pretty much it for the shadow quality um, I recommend to go with low this is the the setting that will give you the most of FPS if I compare very high to low you can expect a nice 15 person boost in your FPS so super important this one to put at low. If you have a pretty decent phone and you don't struggle, you can definitely go with normal. Object quality and detail quality, I recommend to go with normal with those one. Don't go high. Uh, you're like losing three to four uh, FPS, four three to four percent. Sorry, FPS. If you're going to high, but if you're going to low, it's just like a boost of one percent, uh, and you decrease uh, your image quality a lot with object and detail when you're going to low. So normal is a good spot to go in this game. For the effect quality, I'm going with low. Uh, you will see when you're playing the game, normal. I can see like sometimes this seems fine, but when you will fight. You will, if you're getting some big drop in your FPS, definitely the effect quality go with low. Uh, if you don't have those drop, you can definitely go with normal. Post-processing, I'm not a huge fan in it. Uh, they seem to have a lot of different post-processing, like blur and stuff like that. Uh, the image is like blurry for me, so that's why I'm going with low, and you will gain a nice 4% boost in your FPS. Background view distance, I recommend to go with normal. Uh, if you're going high and very high, it takes a lot of resources. You will lose a lot of FPS. I'm not a huge fan of low for this parameter. So normal seems to, go, to be a good fit to see uh, further in front of you. For the object distance, um, I don't recommend long range. Again, all those very high preset, honestly, takes a lot of resources and it's a bit random, honestly. But anyway, I recommend to go with short if you're playing like a low end or old uh, mobile phone. If you have something recent or decent, go with mid range. You should be able to run it easily. Sorry, I'm going to go here. Anti-aliasing, not a huge fan of TAA. It makes the game blurry, but also not a huge fan to remove the anti-aliasing because you will see a lot of aliasing in this game. So FXAA is a good spot. You will lose 2 to 3% uh, in your FPS, but you will have a very good image quality with the FXAA on mobile. Uh, on occlusion... If I compare occlusion object to none, you can expect a nice 5% boost in your FPS. So this one definitely go with none. If you feel that your game looks too flat uh, without occlusion, you can definitely go with target. It, uh, it's a good middle ground between the uh, both. After that, you have the graf graphic quality. Uh, for the frame rate, you have a couple of options here. I'm getting, I'm going with 50. Uh, honestly, I can't really play anymore a game at 30 FPS, but... Uh, if you're struggling with your FPS, it's not necessarily good to go with 50 because your mobile phone will always want to do 50 and sometimes you're, you're going to get some random drop like 10, 12 uh, FPS. And also you can overeat your phone. So if your phone is struggling, just lock the game at 30 and it will help you a lot to stabilize your experience. For the resolution... Uh, I recommend to go with 100%. Uh, just change those settings first. After that, look at the resolution. If you're still struggling with your FPS, you can definitely go with 90. But under 90, your game will look very blurry. I'm not a huge fan of 80 or 70%. So, and it'll very low res. So, 90 maximum. Uh, and if you're at 90 and you're still struggling, just put everything at low first and do some testing. 
You have a cool option here in performance, the auto graphic setting during overheat. So when your phone is overheating, it will adjust the graphic to uh, lower those temp. It can help if you want to play this game like two, three hours straight and your um, your phone is getting very hot. You don't want any degradation on your phone. So that's a cool option. If you're playing on blue stack, make sure this one is at off. You don't need that. So this is pretty much it for the in-game setting. Now we're going to go at the blue stack setting. So now for the uh, setting of BlueStack. First of all, I want to mention that it's really important to activate your uh, virtualization in your BIOS. So if you have an AMD processor or Intel, go on your BIOS and make sure that your virtualization is activated. It really depends on your mobile, your motherboard. So if you're not sure how to do that, just Google your motherboard and how to activate virtualization. Normally, you will see a, a guide on how to do it. So let's go first of all with setting. The first tab will be performance and you will see some CPU allocation, memory allocation. This one, the, the trick here and the goal is you don't want to max your core uh, with the CPU allocation. So for example, if you have a, a computer with four core, you don't want to run four core on an emulator because you still need power to run Windows and other tasks. So it's super important to know how many RAM that you have and how many C uh, core that you have on your CPU. If you want to do that, Control L, delete, go to Task Manager, go to Performance, click on your CPU tab here, and you will see here the amount of core that you have. So in my case, I have 12. And for the memory, as you can see, I have 32 gig. So you just need to remember those numbers. So now for the CPU allocation, I can do I easily, and also I can go custom and go higher than, uh, than five. Like I can use six, seven, eight. Honestly, I never seen like a big difference with those numbers and sometimes I'm getting issue with compatibility. So I just go with the uh, default max here. For the memory, it's pretty much the same thing. If you have the space, you have like 16 gig of RAM, you can even custom it and put like eight gig if you want. You can go really like high, depending on the amount of memory that you have. In my case, I'm gonna stay at four gig here uh, for uh, this demonstration. For the performance mode, I recommend to go with balance. For the frame rate, I recommend to go max at 60. And you can even enable the high frame rate here if you want to click it. Sometimes in some games, you can go 90, 120. Uh, but it can cause issue also with the stability of the game. So just do some testing. If you're struggling with the allocation of your CPU and you're playing at medium or even low, don't go necessarily at 60 here. You can lock it at 30. You will probably have like a better like uh, experience be because you know you will not like get some random drops and stuff like that. So it really depends on how you want to run this. For the display, um, go with native. So if you have a 720p monitor, go with 720p. If you have 1080p, go with 1080p. If you have higher than that, you can definitely go 2K. But to run in 2K, make sure that performance, everything is maxed out because you will lag if you do that. Honestly, I recommend to go just with 1080p. It's perfect. Even if you have like a 2K monitor, uh, it's a good way to play. For the pixel density, I, I recommend to go with 240. Higher than that, sometimes I'm getting weird crash in some games. Uh, honestly, 240 is fine and you will have a decent compatibility. For the graphic tab, um, the graphic engine mode, I, I recommend also to go with compatibility. Don't go with performance, getting too much issue with it. Uh, compatibility runs fine. For the API uh, graphic renderer, I recommend to go with OpenGL. If you're struggling with old AMD card, you can definitely test DirectX because OpenGL is, is not great with AMD drivers. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA card, you will not have any issue. Just go with OpenGL. If you're struggling with your AMD, definitely do some testing. Interface renderer, go with Auto. ASTC texture, super important to use the software decode, coding. Sorry. And the last one, it's the GPU in use. You really want to uh, activate this if you have a dedicated GPU. It will help you with the hardware acceleration. So super important to use that. The last parameter that you want to check, it's your device. So you have a different profile for device. By default, I recommend to use the Asus ROG 2. Uh, it's pretty good and normally you can go, uh, you can have like high FPS in some games. Uh, the sick other profile that I recommend is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So just do some switch between them. If you don't like the uh, Asus and you're feeling that you're missing some setting in some game, definitely test the Samsung one and you will probably have what you're missing. So this is pretty much it for my blue stack guide. 
So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any question, just come in in the YouTube section. Post me your rig if you're uh, running blue stack, so CPU, GPU, and RAM. If you're playing on a mobile phone, just write me the model of your phone and also the CPU of it and the GPU sometimes if you know it because I know some phone, depending on the region, they just like change the component. Uh, I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.